Welcome to MyRandolphSports.com's Week 1 Football Wrap-Up Show. This week, the game of the week had Ashboro visiting Providence Grove in their first meeting ever, and the fans were excited about it. Go Providence Grove! Woo! Hallelujah! <laughs> Go Blue Providence! Go Providence Grove! I love my Randolph Sports! Go Providence Grove! Providence Grove came away with a 21-14 victory in a hard-fought game. The tone was set on the very first play. 34-yard run by Andrikas Harris set up the first touchdown on a short run by Blaine Dixon. Ashbury answered with a nice drive and scored on fourth and goal. Ashbury scored on the next drive to go up 14 to seven. The key play was a long pass from Walter Rush to Caleb Mason. From there, fullback Brandon Burr scored to cap the drive. And Briggs Harris then tied the game on a 74 yard run. The winning drive was highlighted by two catches from tight end Ryan Powell, the final one being for the touchdown. Pass complete to number 86, Ryan. Ashburn drove to midfield before Marshall Winston picked off a Walter Rush pass to effectively end the game. Let's hear comments from players and coaches. Did you do a nice game? There's a push late in the game by O-line. That's getting it done in the end. Getting that ball in for a final score. That two-headed monster stepped up in there. Josh Stewart, love him to death, man. Hey, second day, done a great job. He's backed everything up, man. Underdogs, love being there. Uh, the key to the second half was just trying to keep the ball short yardage and not let him pass it much and just work hard and keep him short. Demetrius was a heck of a running back. I mean, he has speed, agility, but we just worked hard and we were able to overcome it. Astros defense fought pretty hard tonight, but we were fighting right back. We didn't stop, we didn't let up, and they got tired sometimes, and we got tired, and we just kept on getting through there. Well, I think the key to nice win was our defense stepped up and played, played physical football, which is what we challenged them to do. And in the second half, we cut our penalties down, which gave us an opportunity to move the ball, control the ball a little bit more. Randleman dropped a tough one to East Davidson Friday night. Despite flashes of solid play, and the end turnovers and penalties doomed the Tigers. Despite the mistakes, Randleman carried a 14-13 lead late into the game on the back of the sweet completion from quarterback Kyle Farlow to Jeremy Taylor. Follow looking deep. Running. Hey. East Davidson scored though with 154 to play, and the Tigers just didn't have enough clock to finish it. Next week, Randleman travels to Central Davidson. Trinity had a great opening night, defeating Leopard 16 to 7, with Ryan Kivett and Angelo Dunn both scoring. Coach Alex Mevin told MyRandolphSports.com that his squad lost to Leopard in the fourth quarter two of the past three years, and this year's theme was to finish it. Finish it they did with a comeback win in the fourth quarter. Two long goal line stands capped with the win with Corey Steed and Chris Sexton making key plays. Trinity travels to East Davidson next week to face the Eagles. Southwestern Randolph dominated Chapman Center on a 34-12 win Friday. Matt Berry scored on a 19-yard touchdown run and finished with 85 yards rushing on 13 carries. Quarterback Butch Dunn added 78 yards passing. 
Coach Mike Lossenhauser was pleased with the defense, saying they're going to be the heart of this year's team. Check out video footage of the game on the Southwestern Randolph page of MyRandolphSports.com. Southwestern Randolph hosts Eastern Randolph next week in our game of the week. Eastern Randolph was shut out in their home opener and debut of new head coach Seth Baxter. Lexington outrushed the Wildcats 294-41. to Coach Baxter said Lexington's line was superior tonight. We've lost a few linemen for various reasons, and it showed. We just have to have a few people step up and produce. ER travels to Southwest Randolph next week in our game of the week. New school Wheatmore opened with a 53-6 loss at South Davidson. Despite the loss, Josh Rickert rushed for 110 yards, including an 80-yard touchdown run for the first score in school history. Wheatmore has their home opener next week versus Providence Grove. Thanks for watching and join us again next week at MyRandolphSports.com.